Hey everyone, Trackline here on my BM Hunter. I just posted a few new macros that all work for the latest update, so I thought I'd show them off for you. I have a link down below if you want to copy and paste all the macros, or if you have the impulse add on, you can come up here, click impulse, and you'll just choose the modifier, and their macros will go straight to your hotbar. Or go to the actions tab and sift through all their macros, and they'll go straight to your macro tab. I also have a link down below to my bartender um, and, of course, the macros. Everyone always asks about add-ons, so, uh, yeah, all the add-ons I use uh, can be found in the links down below. So the first macro I tested today was a mouse over for my concussive shot, which looks like this. Slash cash bracket target equals mouse over, harm, exists, no dead, concussive shot. And if you want to switch it out, you can just switch it here, here, leave that semicolon in between, and, yeah, use whatever you want. So how this works is if you just have a single target with no mouse over, it's always going to go off on your single target. It uh, doesn't matter if you have a mouse over or not, at least for your single target. So you can just use the macro normally, it's going to go on your single target, just like that. Uh, but let's say you want to keep your current target and, you know, slow somebody else down. You can just simply mouse over them and it'll go on them, just like that. So as you can see, that they're concussed now. Or, you know, of course, if I want to go this person, just mouse over them or go on them. And I also have this set up for my counter shot just to show you. So if I want to slow this person down and silence this person, simply mouse over them, concussive, mouse over them, silence them. So, or interrupt them, however you want to say it. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's how that works. So yeah, it's a really nice macro for most of your abilities. Just depends on your play style. But yeah, I usually put a lot of my... Um, like my interrupts, my CCs, things like that into that type of macro. Next up is a Wyvernstein focus macro, which looks like this. Slash cast bracket target equals focus, exists, no dead Wyvernstein. And I'm just show, showing this off for, because this is why I like to use, and I tested this, so if you want to switch it out, just switch it here and here. And just like the last one, leave that semicolon, and yeah, use whatever you want. So how this works is if you just have a single target with no focus target at all, it'll always go off on your single target, just like that. Or let's say you want to, well, let's say this guy, let's keep a single frame. Let's say this guy is on my focus now, or this dummy. And on this UI, my focus is here. As you can see me switching it, that's my focus right here. So now that I do have a focus target, this type of macro is always going to work on my focus rather than my single. So single with no focus always goes on your single. Uh, if you do have a focus, always goes on your focus. I also have this set up for my cover shot because you know it has no cooldown, so I just show you show it off for you. So this is my focus, or if I switch to this, this is my focus now. So as you can see, you can set up a lot of your abilities like that, where if you do have a focus, you can just uh, you know, pummel them all you want, use whatever you want on, on them, and then as soon as you take it off your focus, it's always going to go on your single, just like that. Yeah, just like that. So it's a really nice way to, you know, same as the last one, CCs, interrupts, depending on your play style, this type of macro might work better, or you can just set it up for like a single macro, like a silence or Wyvernstein type of uh, spell. And if you want to get your focus on off people quicker, I have a macro for that. This one right here. Oh, whoops. Maybe I didn't show that. Oh, well, you can just copy and paste it like the rest of them. And I'll show you how this one works. So if you just have a... Well, if you want to um, put someone on your focus, you just simply mouse over them and put them on your focus. Just click it once and put them on your focus. If you want to switch targets, let's say to this grunt right here, click it once anywhere. And it'll take off your current focus and then simply mouse over them, click it again, and it'll put them on your focus. So if you want to switch real quick, just simply double click on your mouse over. So this is me switching focuses, just like that. So yeah, it's a really nice focus macro. And nothing changes if you have a single, just simply mouse over you want and put them on your focus. And the last macro I tested today was a modifier for my kill command and my dire beast, which looks like this. Slash cast bracket modifier alt, dire beast, semicolon kill command. And if you never used a modifier before, you can switch out the alt for something like shift to control, if that's easier for you. 
and what you put before the semicolon is what you're modifying. So as you see here on my key right here, there's the macro. If I just use it normally, it's going to be my kill command, just like this. But if I hold down Alt and hit the same key, it's going to be my Diary Beast, just like that. So kill command regular and then hold down alt and use it and it'll be your die beast. So yeah, these modifier macros are good for a couple of reasons. First, you can save on interface space. Like, you know, right now if I set up all my spells, I would save a lot of keys because I could have more spells per key, which is always nice. And more importantly, say you're really good with like keys like the A key and the S key and keys around those keys. Well, you can just set up modifier macros for those keys instead of, you know, trying to get good with keys you're not very good at. Like on the top side or the right side of your keyboard. So yeah, you become a little more efficient with your keys by using modifiers. Alright guys, well that's the last macro I tested today on the BM Hunter. If you want to see more BM Hunter macros, just drop a like on the video. And I'll know you enjoyed it and I'll make more for you guys. Have a good one.